Opportunity by Edward Rowland Sill, 1841 to 1887. This I beheld, or beheld it in a dream. There spread a cloud of dust along a plain, and underneath the cloud, or in it, raged a furious battle, and men yelled, and swords shocked upon swords and shields. A prince's banner wavered, then staggered back, hemmed by foes. A craven hung along the battle's edge, and thought, had I a sword of keener steel, that blue blade that the king's son bears, but this blunt thing? He snapped and flung it from his hand, and lowering crept away and left the field. Then came the king's son, wounded, sore, bested, and weaponless, and saw the broken sword hilt buried in the dry and trodden sand, and ran and snatched it, and with battle shout lifted afresh, he hewed his enemy down, and saved a great cause that heroic day. Okay, this poem is by Edward Rowland Sill. Let's see, he was an American from Connecticut, um, and uh, I think he he uh, went to Harvard Divinity School, but he left that, and then he um, later he became a a professor of English at the University of California. So what's this about? Well, this is about opportunity. This reminds me of the um, uh, hero her heroic poems uh, like uh, The Charge of the Light Brigade by Tennyson or things like that. Um, let's see, opportunity. This is a poem about taking an opportunity and how one's attitude to things is the most important thing. So here we have a battle, a battle in uh, in times of, uh, in old times, I think in classical times. And there's the son of a king and there's somebody who's watching and this person uh, throws away their sword because they think it's no good. But the king's son finds this sword, and with it he manages to win the battle. So anyway, this is an observer. I think the poet is a fly on the wall observing this and knowing all. This I beheld, this I saw, or dreamed it in a dream. There spread a cloud of dust along a plain, so there's a large flat plain and there's dust, a dust cloud. And underneath the cloud, below the cloud or in it, raged a furious battle. So there was a battle going on inside this cloud of dust. And men yelled and swords shocked upon swords and shields. And men were shouting and swords were hitting each other and they were hitting shields. A prince's banner wavered, then staggered backward, hemmed by foes. So now we have this image of the banner of a prince, the standard of a prince, and it wavers. So it, it stops going forward. It's in, clearly in trouble and then staggered. It steps backwards with problems, hemmed surrounded, hemmed in by foes, by enemies. So there's this battle going on and we see the standard of a prince that is clearly in trouble. They're, they're having difficulties. A craven hung along the battle's edge. So a craven, this is an old word for a coward. So there's a coward who's hanging, who's at the side of the battle and thought and the craven is thinking, had I a sword of keener steel? 
So had I, if I had a sword which had was made of sharper steel, that blue blade that the king's son bears, a sword like that blue steel uh, sword that the son of the king bear is carrying, but this blunt thing, but this thing, this sword that I have, it's of no, it's of no use. And I think this is the coward's excuse. This is the coward's excuse not to take part in the battle. Yeah. But this blunt thing, so this, this sword, this sword is no good. He snapped, he broke the sword and flung it and threw it from his hand. And lowering, crept away and left the field. And the craven coward then goes away. He leaves uh, with his head down, hiding, maybe a shame. Then came the king's son, wounded, sore, bested. So th th then on this place, the son of the king arrives and he's wounded and he's sore and he's, b he's been beaten, yeah? and weaponless, so he doesn't have a sword, and saw the broken sword, he saw the sword that the coward had broken and thrown away, hilt buried in the dry and trodden sand. So the hilt is the cross piece, or the handle. So part of the handle is in the dry sand where the coward has walked. And the king's son snatches it, he grabs it, and with battle shout, with the shout of battle, afresh, he hew lifted afresh, he hewed his enemy down. So the king's son sees this broken sword as an opportunity, an opportunity to win the battle. Yeah, and he picks it up and he starts to hew, to cut his enemy down. And he saved a great cause that heroic day. So the king's son uses this broken sword to finally to win the battle. So the coward sees the whole sword as useless because it's not good. And he's finding an excuse not to take part. Whereas the king's son sees this sword, even though it's broken, as the opportunity to win his, win his battle. And the poem is saying we need to take our opportunities uh, when they come to us in life. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Opportunity by Edward Roland Sill